Adam Avitabile ha lavorato a film come Legend, The Wrestler, Yes Man, Apocalypto. Recentemente ha affrontato la sfida della realizzazione degli effetti visivi per l'ultima stagione di Lost. The, the difference between uh, feature film uh, visual effects and episodic TV uh, effects are mostly in time and budget. Uh, in a feature film, usually you have a lot more time and a lot more money to get across what you need to do artistically. Uh, episodic television, you're constantly battling the time constraints and the budget constraints. You never have enough time and you never have enough money. Uh, those are the big, biggest differences and it, it's very challenging to try to uh, put your, your artistic point across in an episodic television basis under those limitations. But it can be done and thankfully uh, the tools are becoming better and more faster and the artists are, who work on television know what to expect and so it, it's, it's getting better, it definitely is. The, the biggest problems I had to face working on Lost uh, is going back uh, actually to the first question, is just working on a TV show, uh, essentially. Uh, Lost was one of the biggest television shows of all time, and we worked on the, the final season of it, so they really wanted to go out with a bang. And they, they were helpful in the sense they gave, us, they gave us as much time as they could and as much money as they could, but it, it, it never was up to the level that, that we needed to be to a certain degree. And I don't make, want to make it sound like that was a bad thing, but it was, it was just more of a challenge. Um, so that was probably the, the ongoing challenge of the entire show. Uh, the biggest single challenge probably was working on the character of the smoke monster. It was a, a character that we had never done before. It had been done by a different com company, and we just had to get to speed very quickly. Um, it was a fairly challenging character. It was done all in Maya. Um, and it was, it was something that we, we had took some time to wrap our brains around. The, the process for, to, to create the smoke monster, uh, like I said, was all done in Maya. Uh, it was essentially just a, an animated bone chain that we attached particle emitters to. Um, so it was a fairly simple setup if you think of it that way, and we can animate it like you would a snake. Uh, but the challenges became how to control the density of the particles, how to really make it look like smoke, um, how to light those particles. We had a lot of uh, shots where we were inside of a, a temple area that had, was lit by a fire pit in the middle with torches around the sides. So it had very uh, distinct pools of light that the, that the smoke monster, or smokey as we like to call them, uh, would come in and out of. And that was very challenging to get that to work right. And we, met, we made many iterations trying to get to, to the way we wanted it to be. The, the biggest things that we had to focus our attention on for the final episode were uh, two sequences, really. There was the, the interior of the, the heart of the island cavern, uh, which was this uh, magical area that had this pool in the middle of it that had this light emanating from it. And it was supposed to be the power, or the, the source of all the power and magic of the island. And uh, it was a, a lot of iterations trying to figure out what that light looks like. And we ended up doing that all in After Effects. And also within this, this set piece, uh, there was, which took up one of our entire sound stages, one of the entire walls was green screen, and we had to fill that up with a matte painting and a waterfall that our characters could rappel down. Um, so that was very challenging just to get everything working. It was probably about 50 or 60 shots alone in that sequence. Um, the other thing was the, the Ajira plane uh, takeoff, which was this fully CG plane that we created and shot a bunch of plates to make the, the exteriors, the, the trees and the runway and everything. And we had to have this plane rolling down the runway during an earthquake. So we had fissures opening up in the ground and everything was shaking and it finally takes off at the end. That was, that was very challenging, all done in Maya, uh, composited in Nuke and Shake, I believe.